Hello, Marcia. I decided I'm going to make a quick video here to show you the comparison between your old Yamaha and um, the Sony that I have. I put your Yamaha on top of the Sony to show you the footprint is almost identical. Your Yamaha might be a quarter or a half an inch wider. It's about the same height. Yeah, let me see if I can rotate this around. Rotate this around a little bit. Show you the back. Oh, hang on. Essentially, it has the same type of jacks for inputs and outputs uh, as your Yamaha. Uh, similar uh, AM and FM. It, it's almost an identical receiver of, of performance. Um, Physically, things may be laid out a little bit differently, but uh, they're almost identical. Again, your old Yamaha is on the top. Uh, the Sony is on the bottom. Let's swing this back around here. Uh, I don't know if your Yamaha came with remote control, but the Sony does have remote capabilities. When I acquired this item, it did not come with the remote, but it can probably be purchased on the aftermarket um, should you desire. I'm just going to turn it on real quick. And turn the volume up a little. And hang on, I think I knocked the antenna off. Sorry about that. Get the camera right up. This is your item. It has uh, preset memories just like yours did. It um, has almost everything. It's just laid out a little bit differently. I have gone through the item, spent about an hour and a half. Deoxidizing switches, controls, speaker relay, resoldered heat stress connections, checked. DC bias, DC offset, pretty much what I do for every receiver uh, amplifier. And um, I think I told you I would warranty this for six months. I'm going to change that. I will warranty this for one year. Um, and again, it has the same accommodations, so you can connect your turntable, CD player, cassette deck, speakers. Whatever you were doing before, you could do with this. Tradition at um, Thursday, March 17th. That's about all I have to say. And uh, we're signing off. Goodbye. Let me turn it off here.